Are Newfoundland dogs prone to heart problems? Newfoundland dogs, with their majestic presence and sweet temperament, have long been a favorite among dog lovers. These gentle giants are known for their strength, loyalty, and agility in water. However, like any other breed, Newfoundland dogs are prone to certain health issues that prospective owners should be aware of. One particular concern that often arises is whether Newfoundland dogs are prone to heart problems. In this article, we will explore this topic in detail to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the matter. Heart problems can affect any breed of dog, regardless of their size or breed lineage. Certain breeds, however, have been found to be more susceptible to specific conditions. When it comes to Newfoundland dogs, heart problems are something that potential owners should be aware of. Diligent research and responsible breeding practices can play a crucial role in minimizing the risk of these conditions. One of the most common heart problems that affect Newfoundland dogs is subvalvular aortic stenosis, SAS. This condition occurs when there is an abnormal narrowing of the aorta, the main artery that carries oxygenated blood from the heart to the body. The narrowing restricts blood flow, forcing the heart to work harder, which can ultimately lead to heart failure. SAS is believed to have a genetic component and therefore is more prevalent among certain dog breeds, including Newfoundlands. In fact, studies have shown that Newfoundland dogs have a higher than average prevalence of SAS compared to other breeds. Responsible breeders will often perform genetic screening to ensure that they do not pass this condition onto their offspring. While SAS is a concerning heart condition, it's important to note that not all Newfoundland dogs will develop this problem. However, if you are considering getting a Newfoundland puppy, it is crucial to choose a reputable breeder who has conducted health tests on the parents to minimize the risk of inheriting heart problems. Another heart condition that can affect Newfoundland dogs is dilated cardiomyopathy, DCM. DCM is a disease that causes the heart muscle to weaken, leading to an enlarged heart and compromised cardiac function. While DCM can affect any breed, including humans, certain dog breeds such as Newfoundlands are considered to be at a higher risk. DCM in Newfoundland dogs can have various causes, including genetics, diet, and certain underlying medical conditions. Unfortunately, there are no specific genetic tests available for DCM in this breed yet, making early detection and prevention challenging. However, owners can collaborate with their veterinarians to closely monitor their Newfoundland's heart health through regular checkups and diagnostic tests. It's important to highlight that heart problems in Newfoundland dogs, while not uncommon, are not a guarantee for every individual dog. With proper care, a healthy diet, regular exercise, and routine veterinary checkups, many Newfoundland dogs lead long and healthy lives without encountering significant heart issues. If you have decided to bring a Newfoundland dog into your family, there are certain steps you can take to minimize the risk of heart problems. Firstly, research and choose a reputable breeder who prioritizes genetic screening and health testing for the parents. A good breeder will provide health clearances and offer support throughout the lifetime of your dog. Furthermore, a balanced and nutritious diet is essential for your Newfoundland's overall health, including their heart. Consult with your veterinarian to ensure that you are feeding them the appropriate food and providing adequate exercise to maintain a healthy weight. Regular veterinary checkups are paramount in monitoring your Newfoundland's heart health. A veterinarian will be able to detect any early signs of heart problems and provide appropriate interventions or treatment plans if necessary. Additionally, discuss with your vet about any supplements or medications that may aid in supporting your dog's cardiac health. In conclusion, while Newfoundland dogs may have a higher susceptibility to certain heart conditions such as SAS and DCM, responsible breeding practices and proactive healthcare can minimize the risk and ensure a healthy life for your furry friend. If you are considering bringing a Newfoundland dog into your home, remember to do thorough research, select a reputable breeder, and provide ongoing healthcare to give your dog the best chance at a long and happy life.